Welcome to the Tripcom's high tech review of the Apple iPhone 5S. Apple has developed one of the best smartphones year after year with its extremely popular iPhone series, and the new 5S brings some new features that many Apple users are raving about. What do we here at Trippy Commentaries think of the new iPhone 5S? Let's take a look at it. Of course, developed by Apple, the iPhone 5S is a revised version of the Apple iPhone 5. It has a 4-inch LCD touchscreen, or 10 centimeters. The screen resolution is 640 by 1136 at 326 pixels per inch. One thing you'll notice right away is its newly designed home button. It has a laser-cut sapphire cover with a metallic ring. Uh, no longer has that concave feel to it. Uh, we actually like this quite a bit. Really nice design and a really nice touch. A welcome addition to the iPhone 5S. One thing many people were talking about upon release was the new Touch ID fingerprint recognition system. Another feature we here at Tripcoms like quite a bit. Very cool and very cutting edge. It's used for security like unlocking your phone and to authenticate your purchases. It detects the sub-epidermal layers of your fingers at 500 pixels per inch. It can actually read the fingerprint at any angle. Fingerprints of multiple users can be stored within a secure enclave of the phone's new A7 chip and it is not accessible to any other app or server. Speaking of the new A7 chip, of course the iPhone 5S introduced the A7 dual core processor. It's the first 64-bit processor used on a smartphone, really increases performance, obviously helps out the battery life quite a bit as well and when you combine that with the M7 Motion Coprocessor, um, which processes the motion data without using the main processor at all, really makes the iOS handle like a dream. Of course, the iOS is the brand new iOS 7, which shipped with the iPhone 5S. It has new visuals, a lot of minor features, um, and the user interface that it uses is based on the concept of direct manipulation by using multi-touch gestures. Very cool stuff. The phone can finally be used as a hotspot. You can share your internet by Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or even USB. Um, also added was the new AirDrop, which is an ad hoc Wi-Fi sharing platform, makes sharing your internet even easier. They've added the flashlight function, which uses the camera's flash feature, another feature we've been asking for for quite a while, and we finally have it. Uh, one great thing about the iPhone 5S is it functions as a media player. So it'll include your Apple Maps as well as your Passbook with that as well. A uh, very good mapping system. Um, gives you turn-by-turn -turn nav, uh, 3D city views, uh, real-time traffic, a lot of stuff that you'll probably use. Another thing that's getting a lot of, ten of attention is Siri which is included with the 5S. It's an intelligent personal assistant and knowledge navigator. It uses natural language user interface to answer any of your questions. It'll offer recommendations and perform actions by delegating requests to a set of web services. Apple does claim that it actually adapts to the user and becomes personalized. iOS 7 also adds integration with Facebook, Twitter, Wikipedia, as well as Bing. Another thing we really like is the inclusion of the iTunes radio. Acts almost like your, you know, your basic music apps such as Pandora. Uh, you can actually buy songs right there from iTunes radio. So, really a feature we like quite a bit, given the media player aspect that the iPhone 5S brings to the table. The iTunes radio really brings it over the edge. The improved battery that the iPhone 5S brings will give you about 10 hours of talk time and over 250 hours of standby time. Very impressive. The camera has been improved. Much better color balancing, automatic image stabilizing, dynamic tone mapping, 10 FPS burst mode, as well as a best shot mode, and even slow motion video at 120 FPS. So, all said and done, we highly recommend the iPhone 5S for its user-friendly interface and high capabilities. 
Now, one thing we do need to call out the iPhone 5S for is it's not improved quite enough for our liking. If you do have one of the earlier versions, such as the iPhone 5, you might want to just hold on to that until the iPhone 6 comes out later this year. If you are really into the fingerprint technology, as well as the updated iOS 7, definitely recommend picking up the iPhone 5S. You will not be disappointed, and as many other people do with their iPhones, you'll probably fall in love with it very quickly. Just make sure not to fall too in love with Siri. <laughs> Thank you guys for checking out the Tripcom's high-tech review of the Apple iPhone 5S. Make sure to comment and please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate any support you throw our way and make sure to check out all of our videos here at Trippy Commentaries where we'll be covering more high-tech reviews in the future. Peace out and we'll see you next time.